Welcome back to another episode of On The Limiter We're back here Usher here Just decided to sell his FD2 The FD2 he was going to keep till the end of time, never get rid of Absolutely loved it Is that right? <laughs> it is, it's time to go Obviously in my line of work If somebody offers the right money It doesn't matter how much I love something It's gone But unfortunately that is, that is the case Somebody has bought it A guy from London that's getting delivered on Friday, we're on Tuesday, it's about Monday today, so it'll be gone soon enough. Now, anybody that knows anything about cars will know that them K the K20 engine, probably one of the most reliable performance vehicles or performance engines that money can buy. So, how do you top that, Anthony? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. No? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Now, You'll have seen the intro, we've just done some drone footage, that will have already played, I can assure you. Now, I'll jump straight to it, Vauxhall. The Z20 LEH engine, yes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it in the back. Very well known for doing the strongest pistons. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. No, no, no. Strongest valves in them oil seals. Yeah, no, no. no. That the best, most robust turbochargers that money... No, yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. Well known for making the fastest 2 litre turbo from 0 to 100 once. One time. Yeah. 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 I think there's a few Vauxhalls worth noting. The Nova. Awesome. Great very, car. very cool car. Cavalier GSI Turbo. Very good car. No, that's no, not really. No, that's about as far as Vauxhalls go. But today, we've got you something that me and Dan are, are slightly secretly in love with. And judging by how close we are, I can assure you that's not each other. <laughs> the very spacious <laughs> Vauxhall VX220 Turbo. <laughs> Loads of room. Loads of fun. I'll give it that. I got it, believe it or not, we took it in part X for a, a 722 horsepower RS6 on Saturday. And I jumped in it and I drove it and I said the broke. I said, I said, what do you think? He said, that is disgusting. It's it's bumpy, it's horrible on the road, but I tell you what, I spent the weekend in it and it, I, I absolutely love it. It is absolutely wicked. I'm still yet to be convinced on it. Um... I think it looks pretty, but this is just, this isn't comfortable. It's a bit close for comfort, I. Like. No, I've been showing. <laughs> Saturday I went to 
on the show on Saturday, man. Oh, I thought it was Monday. What day are we on? Monday. Monday. I didn't know you were such a high ginger. <laughs> Armpits like corned beef pasties. <laughs> yes. um, if, if, if you listen to this little, little car, I mean, obviously I know he's probably being to hear it. It's got a great soundtrack, um, turbo back system, uh, Q6 hybrid. It's Thorny Motorsport tuned, which is 270 horsepower, and it, it feels every bit of that. It's really Larry. Um, it's on gas gold suspension, Pro Race 1.2 wheels with 808 R tyres. It's fully polybush, so it, it, it means business and it, it, it's ready to go. And to be fair, yeah, they're not the biggest of things. The build quality, it isn't the best, but if you want an out and out fun car that scares the shit out of you, then this is. This is up there like it is a really practical weekend toy it is it is compared to a motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> probably more room in a motorcycle uh, to be honest with you probably is there's some there's a cubby hole there you just can't sit i'm going to show you i'm going to pull this off my legs we've got the drone i've got no room whatsoever <laughs> zero i'll put this back Slightly nervous, I think. Yeah, we yeah. we we drive cars. I like I, this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I know how bad a rear drive car is with an engine in the back That's, as well. Yeah, especially this. That's the thing. It, it is quite controllable. This I find it quite easy to drive. But reading on the forums and stuff, the owners are saying don't get too confident because obviously with this engine being in the back, once it goes, it, it's gone. You don't get a second chance, is what they're telling me. So we just hope we don't need that second chance today. Hopefully. Tell them, man. <laughs> I haven't got much in the way of safety features, have I? There's absolutely none. If you if you crash, you're definitely you're definitely dead. Like it's like a two litre turbo egg car. <laughs> you're now going to see how a man gets into one of these. Ah, <laughs> swell. Have you got a camera? Have fun, lads. See you. <laughs> I can't believe you've recorded that, you fucking asshole. <laughs> How's your leg? <laughs> Feels wooden. Just in my local town, the local stomping ground, which is Horden. Otherwise known for... Is a policeman garden, that lollipop man? Yeah, yeah. It's the kind of town we're from. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey! That's for the week. I think I do like it. I, I think I quite like it as well. Like, I need to drive it. Yeah, you can have a go in a second. When I had that 2.2 lightning one, it felt a bit ugh, yeah sluggish. This is this is definitely good at all, like I think. To be fair, I think every time Lotus and Vauxhall have getting together, they've done a job, haven't they? Yeah. A little bit of cartons. Lotus carton. How expensive they are now, if, if you can find the one. Every single one of them is my side. I'm not going to hit my now. <laughs> Selfish bastard. <laughs> Bit of a dead, dead end here. Just need to spin us round. <laughs> Smell tires, oil, <laughs> clutch, and I'm sure I got some dust in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah! You like that? I thought it was good, me. Pot stinks. <laughs> Might as well have a laugh getting in the thing. Right. Does that come back right, does it? It's more room than what you think. I think when you're peeing, you have to pull it forward, so I think you'd be quite surprised how. Dan's having a turn, I'm not getting in because I'm a nervous passenger. I don't like when people do donuts and stupid things. Uh, I'll best put my belt on. <laughs> I feel safer hand gliding than this. Right. Right guys, I'll give this thing a go. 
as Anthony said, he does not like being a passenger. I don't know why he thinks I do. safely say this thing has been built for one purpose and one purpose only and it wasn't practicality So I'll fit it in the video somewhere, but to put 270 horsepower down through a clamshell is something else. Well guys, I'm down here at Horden. I've got an expensive bit of equipment in my hand, so I'll be quick and sharp about it. I've got Anthony behind, he's about to come down, and he's going to do that one thing that everybody does when they start getting used to rear wheel drive cars. And you're about to see. Take it away, Anthony! Right, guys, we've spoke about the performance of this little thing. We spoke about the sort of reliability or lack of of this thing we're just about to discuss how rare these cars are so we've pulled over the side of the road haven't we anthony we we'll have what happened anthony we've seen another one <laughs> we've seen another one not only did we see another one but he pulled over to have a look Thirty-four thousand miles you said 34 Talking to the gentleman now, this replaced his uh, his wife's Vauxhall Tigre four years ago. It was absolutely immaculate to be fair to it. Needless to say, we're not going to waffle on about the rarity of them because right now they're common as shite. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, there's more of these on this road currently than there is courses, so there we go. I can also show you Anthony's face, which is a bit disheartened, but <laughs> joyful at the same time. He's from sea, on the side five miles away. He lives literally a couple of miles away. Anyways, onwards and upwards. <laughs> <laughs> 